Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another cliffhanger tech story. This one is called Route 50. Let's begin, shall we? Jesse says, I haven't seen another car for almost an hour. Emily says, why didn't you wait until morning? I couldn't sleep anyway. This 287 mile stretch of US 50 through Nevada has no points of interest. Zero. Good luck. I'm going to bed. Wait, there's something on the side of the road up ahead. What, a dead deer? Oh my gosh, looks like little feet sticking out of a blanket. Oh, little feet? Are you hallucinating? They're definitely little feet. And they're not moving. Call the cops. Looks like a kid. Rolled up in a blanket? Ugh. I'm going to see if they need help. Jesse, that's creepy. Don't. It's probably a trap, just saying. Jesse, what if there's... Jesse? I think she's alive. Who? The little girl. I put her in the back seat. Oh dear, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> have you totally lost your mind? I can't leave her out there. Call the cops. Finally, another car. Are you... Why is she ignoring her? <laughs> Looks like a pickup truck behind me. Awesome. I'm slowing down. I'm waving to him. So? He drove past me real slow. I shouted for help. Dang, he drove off, a-hole. Maybe he's going for help. I hope so. I think she's waking up. Why haven't you called the cops? <laughs> the little girl. And are you seriously? I'm sorry. I hate these stories where they're driving and texting it. <sighs> anyway, the little girl? Yeah, she's making noises. What is she saying? She's groaning. She must be in pain. I asked her if she was okay. She's not answering me. You gotta get her to a doctor. You think? Wait a minute. I think it's the pickup truck coming back. Yeah. Maybe he's bringing help. No. <laughs> he drove past me and now he's turning around. He's driving up behind me. What the heck? Now she's really making a lot of noise back there. She's rolling around. That truck is following me. I think this guy might have something to do with the little girl. Really, Jesse, you think? Stop the next car you see. <clears throat> you don't get it. There's nothing. No cars, no gas station, nothing. What's going on with the truck? He's still following me. What does he look like? It's pitch black. I can't see the driver. Slow down and see if he'll pass you again. Maybe he'll go away. I'll try to get a look at him when he passes. Jesse, what's going on? He won't pass me. He's driving right up on my bumper. Call the cops. They'll take a million years to get here. But, you know, if you probably had called them earlier. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, he finally passed me. I think the kid in the backseat is scared of him. Did you see him? Just for a second. Some guy with a cowboy hat. But the weird thing is, it gets weirder. I think I saw big cages in the back of his truck. Cages? Yeah, covered with a big tarp. Was there anything in the cages? Looked like he had some kind of animals in there. I heard squealing. Maybe pigs? I couldn't tell. He went by so fast. Well, good thing he's gone. Hey, the little girl's trying to say something. Holy crap! What happened? Jessie? She sat up. Scared the crap out of me. I'm pulling over. What if the truck comes back? I gotta see if I can help her. What's going on? Jessie, what's going on? She's mumbling something. I can't understand her. Is she speaking English? I don't know. I just felt her forehead. She's burning up. Call 911. Jess, did you call? No, she didn't. <laughs> Jess? I'm driving again. The operator told me to keep driving until I get to the hospital. What hospital? I think it's like an hour away. That's crazy. They're going to send an ambulance to meet me halfway. Hopefully. What if something happens? Don't even say that. I think she's having a convulsion or something. Jessie! Jess, where are you? I'm straight up freaking out. That little girl. What? She crawled out of the blanket and... And what? She has big cuts and stitches all over her body. What? It's like somebody... Somebody what, Jess? It's like somebody sued her together from different parts. What? Like a Frankenstein. One of her arms looks like a man's arm. It has a man's hand. What are you talking about? I'm totally losing it. You gotta get her to... I see headlights. Thank God, someone's coming. Hey, you don't know who it is, though. Is it the ambulance? No, I think... 
What, Jess? I think it's that truck! Oh my gosh, no! It's definitely him. Get out of there, Jess! What's going on? He's blocking the road. Can you get around him? He's getting out of his truck. What's he doing? Call the cops! I drove around him. He's coming after me. Call 911! I think I heard girls in his cages. Oh, seriously? How? You said you heard squealing before. What? It didn't sound like pigs. I heard yelling and crying. Oh, here he comes. Get out of your car and run. No, that's actually not a good idea. <laughs> I'm staying in my car. There's no place to run. I'm trapped. Jesse, he's ramming my car. And yet I'm still able to text perfectly. <laughs> I'm losing control. Oh, Jess. Tell my mom and dad I love them. Jesse, wait! Jesse? Jesse! Oh, please answer me, Jesse. I can't move my legs. My car is totaled. Oh, Jess. Here comes an ambulance. For real? Thank God. Hey, the little girl is gone. He must have taken her, that jerk. But you're okay, right? I'm alive. I don't know if I'm okay. I wish I could be there with you. The EMT, ju the EMT just gave me something to help with the pain. I'm going to feel better, girl. 30 minutes later. Just woke up in a hospital bed. How do you feel? Super drowsy. What hospital are you at? Huh? What hospital? I think the MT said St. Mark's. The doctor just came in. I hope he has good news. Hey Jess, there's no St. Mark's Hospital. Huh? Maybe he said St. Martin's or something. I can't find that hospital either. There's that sound again. What? That squealing sound from out in the hall? Wait a minute. This doesn't look like a hospital room. Exactly. I knew it. <laughs> oh Jess. The doctor. It's him. Help! Jesse! Jesse! <laughs> yeah, what are you supposed to do? <sighs> okay, well, that sounded a little bit like Jeepers Creepers, and it sounded a little bit like, you know, um, I don't know if you guys seen Supernatural, but the Frankenstein family, so I don't know. But it was good, though. It was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for another Cliffhanger Tech Story.